Okay, the most important thing to remember for similar triangles is that similar triangles have the um, same angles, okay? That's what makes them similar, is we would know that if they share, uh, you know, they have the same angle measures, then their sides are in proportion. Now, they're not asking about the sides, so we're really just focused on the angle measures, and that's okay because, you know, like, the triangles look like different shapes anyway. They're different sizes. So uh, they wouldn't have the exact same sides necessarily, but they do the same angles. So that means that if Q is 18, then T is also 18. And we can kind of just get that by looking at the picture, but just to play it safe, they do tell us this, right? So if we go to um, the, the instructions, it says P corresponds to S. So that's telling us that P here and S here are the same. And so if R and U are also the same, because those are both the 90 degree angles, then that leaves just Q ma matching up with T. So there's kind of two ways to go about this. Basically, we can use the value of Q to get the value of P, which then would be the same as the value of S, or we can use the value of Q to match with T because those are corresponding, and then use the rules for um, 180 degrees in a triangle to get the value of S. So let's just do that since I've already labeled 18 for T. So there are, as I said, 180 degrees in a triangle. Uh, we have 90 accounted for because it's a 90 degree right angle triangle. So there's 90 left. And of those 90, another 18 are taken up by angle T. And so uh, 90 minus 18, that's 80, and then another eight, so that's 72. And so that is choice B, and that is the answer. So 72 here, and just to be clear, that's also the value of P. So in many cases with similar triangles, it's really not about anything with the proportions of the sides. We could, uh, if we were given side length, set up proportions to kind of co make those correspond. But um, in this case, they're really just talking about the angles. So just make sure you understand which kind of like letter in one triangle matches with the same letter in the other, right? They, they, they could twist them. They could rotate them in some way to throw you off. This is an easy question. So it kind of matches up with their expectations. But just be aware that that, that twist could come in later parts of the test.